Hell of a sight, ain't it? You know, when I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? All right. I had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come, knock my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. There was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. That one where I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I gotta listen as all those men die. Imagine that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. And then this. <laughs> this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people. More than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And yet here we are. Yes, sir. Here we are. My son is dead. And I'm having a drink with his killer. I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. I know you didn't. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us were just wired up wrong. Only one thing we know, one thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. For. Fucking do it. Finish this, you fucking coward. You just gonna fucking stand there? God forgive me. Fuck you!
I take it you're Lincoln Clay. So they tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant it figuratively. This shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally, a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. Want to sell heroin, want a whorehouse on every other corner? Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? Leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Oh! <laughs>